This week's knot of the week is the reef knot, so let's launch into the steps to tie this knot. The first step is to lay the two ropes of equal size parallel to each other. Next take the two ropes and cross them over, so in this case the red rope goes over the blue rope. So over this in the next step you'll form a half knot. Next you cross them over a second time, so in this case the red rope goes over the blue rope. Now you pull both the ends tight to form the reef knot. So now that we've tied the reef knot, we need to know what this knot is used for and the warnings and drawbacks to this knot. This knot is extremely well known and in my opinion it's the best way to tie a triangular bandage. This knot can also be used to form a, squ a square lashing, so comment below if you guys want us to give a video on how to tie this lashing. The key drawback of this knot is it only works with cordage of the same diameter and type. The warning of this knot is that it should never be used as a bend to join two ropes to hold a load. I really hope that you guys found this video useful. If you found this video useful, I'd really appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, be uncommon, pursue excellence and destroy mediocrity.